All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in game number three, True Touch versus Ace. And it looks like uh, Ace has picked Empire of the Sun as the third and final map of this best of three. So, here we go. In the top right corner as the red Zerg, we do have True Touch from Team Poland. And in the bottom right, as the orange Zerg, we have Ace for Team Hungary. So, do oh, I forgot what they are already. All right. Um, Z, we'll make it Z1 and Z5. Okay, so it looks like uh, both players are going to scout horizontally. Um, which means that the second overlords will go in the right direction. And it's interesting because the like the timing of the second overlord is actually going to give a lot of information. So it looks like both players went for the overlord, no 9 pool. And what that's going to mean is that these overlords are both going to meet directly in the middle here at the 3 o'clock. So they'll, both players will know that their opponent did not 9 pool. Because obviously if they're putting a 9 pooled, the second overlord would be a lot slower. Um, so, you know, just right off the bat, they get a little bit of uh, a little bit of information there. And it looks like we're going to have some 12-something uh, from both players. So, it looks like we have a 12 pool from True Touch. And a little bit of a slower 12 pool from Ace. Twopool gas, twopool gas, as expected. I don't know why Ace is a little bit further behind. Um, it's not like either of them can do like the, the larva trick or anything like that, so not too sure what's going on there. Anyway, Ace sending out the scouting drill. And... Or, sorry, no scouting drone, the hatchery drone, I'm making a hatchery. <laughs> what am I talking about? Six lings from both players. So, this is actually going to be quite good. That means that uh, in game number three, there's going to be no... Uh, or it's going to be mirror builds once again, so... The most skilled player is going to win. Now, in game one, we saw um, True Touch go for the lair first, Ace go for speed first, and it looks like that's exactly what's going to happen again here. So, so far, this is a repeat of game number one, uh, which of course True Touch lost. So, <laughs> let's let's see if he can uh, see if he can pull off something here and turn it into a win. Now, those overlords did pass each other, so uh, you know, as I said in the in the beginning, no nine pool. Looks like there is the speed for True Touch. He's going to poke out a little bit. Now he's got to be a little bit careful. Um, interesting. Look at this. Look at this. Both players even sending out one Ling uh, to scout. Although it looks like Ace wasn't paying attention. He's going to lose his Ling. And True Touch is going to save his Ling. So True Touch gaining a one Zergling advantage. OMG. Uh, although, interestingly, look at the second Overlords. Ace has sent his second Overlord to the top left. True Touch is sending his second Overlord to the bottom right towards Ace's base. I'm not 100% sure about why like what the decision making is for these overlords it's quite interesting that's like that's actually probably the biggest deviation right now uh besides the layer speed thing but uh both players going to be defensive with their zerglings and looks like spire is uh is down for true touch true touch moving out with a bunch of links does he have a link advantage it looks like he has a couple more links than ace does but he's actually just gonna chill here that's uh on the on the wide ramp outside his natural uh, which is fine 
I don't think that'll give him, you know, any kind of real advantage like a narrow ramp would, but, uh, you know, it's not like they're, it's not like links of range or anything, so, yeah, just, uh, Oh, no, it looks like he is going to move out now, so Trunich is going to go on the attack with the links, and Ace, interestingly, uh, only had the Overlord in the main, did not have an Overlord at the natural, so he actually is, doesn't know that this is coming, but he does have a nice arc. Look at that, look at that sweet arc of links, but Trunich does have quite a few more, I think, and he's just going to go for it. So here we go, Ace with a better position, True Touch with a greater numbers, looks like Ace is pulled out of his good position, but Trunich is going to run away. I think he might want to just turn around and engage here, but no, he is just going to retreat. Uh, meanwhile, the Spire is almost done. For Ace, but Spire for Trudaj is, is already finished, although he is just using all his larva on Lings here. Uh, wow, he's actually just not... He's actually just only making Lings. He's not making uh, He's not making anything with the Spire. I don't, I'm, not, I'm a little bit confused by that. But... Was he just like scared Ace would do a huge lane counterattack? Look at this, he's spending all his minerals on, on Zerglings. And I don't know, he might, he might just try and kill Ace before Ace's Mutas can get out or something. Uh, Ace's Mutas are in production, so he actually has to go now. He's got like 10 seconds, less than 10, he's got 5 seconds now to, to make some serious uh, damage, to do some serious damage against Ace. Now he's going to target the ha Natural Hatchery here. I think he's going to take it down. Ace's Mutas are out, he's moving out with the links, but the Natural Hatchery is in the red health. Can True Touch take it down? It looks like he will, the Hatchery is going to go down. Ace loses the Natural, but he's going to take out the rest of the, the, the links of True Touch. And Ace... Ace, oh no, he's got Lings in his main. Ace is in a lot of trouble right now. Ace, his drones are under attack. It looks like, though, he won't lose a single drone. Somehow, all of his drones magically survive. Although, it looks like one drone still left in the main. Is going to get taken down, but all the Lings are going to get taken down. So, nice uh, nice drone save there. Meanwhile, it looks like he actually did a counterattack and killed one drone of True Touches as well. Sorry, I missed that. But True Touch... Uh, has his own mutas out, although it looks like his rally point is still to Ace's base. He's got to be a little bit careful and fix that. Looks like we have a uh, some kind of weird Overlord chase going on in the middle of the map, and looks like uh, both players are just going to fly right past each other. No, looks like True Judge is going to turn around. He realizes he's in a good position. He just needs to defend. He's got a lot of Scourge and a few mutas, and if these Scourge connect, then that will be the end of Ace here. True Judge is he going to connect with the Scourge? He does connect with two of the Scourge. He connects with all the Scourge. Ace is in so much trouble. But there's Lings in the base. True Dutch, can he do a nice drill? Uh, he's gonna make his own Lings. He's gonna lose a lot of drones, though. Oh my god! Oh my god, True Dutch losing so many drones! But it looks like he does secure his own main, and he's gonna do some nice micro against the Scourge. Very, very nice. Meanwhile, Ace is making Scourge here. Ace making some Scourge. But it looks like he's gonna get taken out by True Dutch here, which means that, uh. Which means that we're going to be tied 2-2 in the Clan War, or the Nation War. Man, I keep calling this Clan War. Bleah. But, you know, it's not over yet. I mean, True Dutch did suffer a lot of drone casualties. He's actually down to four drones. Five drones in total. Um, against... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Uh, looks like 10, 11 drones now, but True Dutch is going in! The Lings are going after the drones! The Mutas after the Mutas! Is it going to be enough? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ace GG's! I thought for a second there he might have it, but no, True Touch is going to take out Ace here, 2-1. to one. The King of Silver gets second place yet again. And uh, the that means the Nation War, not the Clown War, the Nation War, is going to be tied 2-2. Two, two. This is pretty tense. So, ladies and gentlemen, the next matchup is going to be another ZVZ 